They came in with a really good run defense. Just talk about how effective the run game was uh, tonight against them. Um, I mean, just like every other game, the, the misdirections we have, the different, I mean, we got a three-headed monster in the backfield with Dobbs, Jalen, and Kamara. Um, you know, that, that just gives us running lanes all over the place. Um, and it, it is hard for defenses to stop. And, and, and Vandy, to their credit, I mean, they, they were doing a good job of stopping some of our runs, and we had to adjust, and we had to, we had to um, pick out different plays to, to run because they were stopping some of them. So, um, I just I just love blocking for for these guys. It's pretty easy, I would say. <laughs> Colin, do you think after that it's taken a few weeks as the season has gone on that you guys have done a better job of utilizing all those three weapons you mentioned at the same time with Kamara and Hurt in the backfield with Dobbs at the same time? Yeah, I mean I think we've been doing that all year. I mean Bowling Green, the first game, um, you know, Jalen had a touchdown, Kamara had a touchdown, Dobbs had a touchdown. I mean, we were getting the ball everywhere, and it's been like that all season. You know, we try and get the ball in, you know, our playmakers' hands. Um, and I, I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the backfield. It's behind me, but um, I'm sure they're doing the right stuff to, to get us some yards because they're running past me pretty fast, so. Mac, can you talk about uh, five straight wins, eight in this season, talk about what the seniors have done uh, as a part of Team 119? Well, it's just uh, it's a great honor to be able to finish out a season like that. And uh, I believe Coach said that we haven't done something like that since, I believe, 2007. So <coughs> just being able to be a part of that senior class that has helped brought Tennessee back to, you know, one of its rightful places and one of probably the best teams in college football right now, I, I believe. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just a great honor, like I said, to be a part of that. Can you talk about your emotions when you ran through the last time? Yeah, it was uh, – I would say it was a very humbling experience. You know, you never think that the end's going to come, and you think you have an unlimited amount of games in kneeling, and that's not the case at all. You know, you may only get uh, at most 40 or, or something like that if, if you're lucky to redshirt and dress out every game. But uh, yeah, it was definitely very humbling, and um, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm very proud to say that I was able to to run through that tee. Josh. Um... You and Kamara were really rolling in the first half, and then Jalen got going in the second half. How tough is it to kind of keep you guys all contain, contained, or keep one or two of you contained for, for four quarters? Okay. I guess just how hard is it to make sure that you keep all you guys in check? Yeah, I mean it's difficult. I mean we all do different things, um, so um, you know uh, we do a great job of, of finding different ways to, to get us in space, and then let us let us go out and make plays. So um, it's definitely great, you know, I have weapons across the field. Um, you know, even at the, the wideout position, they get the ball in their hands and, and they'll make a play. So it's definitely great to have that across the field and, and to utilize it well and, and put up big points and big numbers. You ended up with over 500 yards against one of the best defenses in the SEC. Why do you think y'all are clicking so well? Uh, just execution. I mean, um, we came in, we talked about, you know, we'll win the game in our preparation and we're able to do that, obviously. So we just came in, we were able to execute. Um, respond when our defense needs us to go down and drive the ball and, and score a touchdown and then you know, keep our defense off the field at times. So we did a great job playing complimentary football. Pump return always helps. Um, so it was definitely an all-around collective win. Josh, I think you guys now have about a week to, to learn your bowl fate. What kind of team do you think, um, whatever bowl you get, what kind of team will they be getting in Tennessee? Uh, I mean, they're going to see the same thing that they've seen all season. You know, a team that's going to come, they're ready to play, and it's going to come out and fight. You know, every time we step on the field, we expect to win, so um, it's not going to be any different. So we'll definitely be excited for, for whatever opportunity is placed in front of us. Thank for another opportunity to play football and go out and, and compete. Josh, this offensive line continues to evolve. Talk about the job that they've done for you guys in the backfield to open up some holes. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, you look at it. Um, Know all, all the guys that have played and the numbers that we've consistently put up throughout the year. So it's definitely a testament to that room. You know the senior leadership, the two guys next to me. Um, they've obviously obviously had a, had a huge impact in that. So um, it's definitely great great to see that um, consistency from the O line, and um, we'll be expecting that come bowl season. How was that run through the team for like for you that last month? Um, I mean, like Max said, it was humbling. Um, it was it was sad. To a point, to, you know, I mean, it tells you that it's over and it's it's your last one. So, um, you know, that's always that's always pretty sad to know that you know you're not going to get to do that again. But um, you know, there is some joy in knowing that you know you're going to start a new chapter in your life. 
Um, and you can look back and, and see how much this program has, has helped you grow as a person and as a man. And, I mean, I'd give everything to, to this. I mean, I, I'm so happy to be a VFL. I wouldn't take anything back that happened. I wouldn't want to go any other place for college. So um, I'm, I'm very appreciative of the opportunity I got. Josh, this team's three and four, and y'all won five straight. What was the message after that family game that kept you guys focused to finish how you guys did now? Do you remember? Yeah, of course. I mean, every game we played in, we've been in. Every game we played in, we had the lead. Every game we played in, um, we, were, we were right there. And, you know, ball bounces the other way, we come out on top. So, um, I mean, we, we, we know how, how good we are and how successful we can be. And the, the mindset was just to keep fighting, put our head down, and, and keep turning. And, you know, we'll, we'll break through. But um, it's definitely great to see, you know, the mental toughness of this team and how we're able to finish. And, you know, we're still finishing. We still have one more game. So it's definitely great, great to see that from this team. Kyler, I think it was after the Arkansas game. You guys were to the very push set. I guess it was the teammates that if you guys are a good team. Did that stick out as a moment that maybe you guys kind of rallied and went this one once and said, and that was that way, okay, but you guys took it down the fourth quarter. Does that stand out as a, as a, maybe a turning point or, or some of this season? Yeah, um, in, in past seasons, you know, when we lost, it was it was bad losses. It was, you know, multiple scores. It, and then this year, I mean, it was right there. It, it was on the tip of your tongue. You could, I mean, you could grab it. So we never saw ourselves as, as a losing football team or a bad football team. Um, every single one of those wins was so close that, I mean, we told ourselves we can hang with anybody. Um, and, you know, I think all those, all, all three of those losses, you know, that we had in the beginning really taught us something about ourselves and, and taught us how, how to really bounce back and, and how to fight, how to keep fighting throughout the season. Um, and, you know, it, it opened our eyes and, and we were able to take advantage of that when we went into Georgia, into the Georgia game. So, um, and I think ever since, you know, the Georgia and Alabama game, we just really saw ourselves as a really good football team and had a lot of confidence in ourselves and that, you know, we, we can do this and um, we could win five straight and, and be able to, you know, get eight wins for the first time in a long time and be bowl eligible again two years in a row. So, um, you know, we took that upon ourselves to really work towards. Thanks, guys. What's that? Last yeah, question. What's that? Yeah. What's that? The yeah. confidence in the running was growing throughout the year. At what point did you realize that? This could be a pretty good run offense, one that you know, is the best numbers you guys have had in almost 20 years. Um, I really noticed when we played uh, some top defenses in, in Oklahoma, Florida, Alabama. Um, those are some of the top defenses in the country, and we were able to run a good amount of yards on them. Um, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't them stuffing us every play, and we couldn't get anything going like it was in years past. Um, you know, we didn't have to settle for field goals this year versus versus Florida like we did last year. Um, you know, we didn't, you know, barely get past the 50-yard line this year like we did last year versus Oklahoma. And, I mean, we had the lead in the fourth quarter, quarter versus Alabama. So, you know, we really had confidence in ourselves and confidence in the guys behind us. And, and like I said earlier, that three-headed monster with Dobbs, Jalen, Kamara, um, I had a lot of confidence in them and, and knowing that they can get the job done. So, Thank you, guys.